incredible to talk about doing it. It was incredible. And we have Claudio Sanchez in the studio right now from Coey. Claudio, how are you, man? I'm all right. How are you, man? I'm good. Thanks for getting up nice and early after doing a whole show last night and then performing tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday. Oh, you got it, man. I, it's what I do. So tell me about, uh, you know, how does it feel so far? How much rehearsing did you do in order to do all four of your albums in order, in their entirety, one each night? How much? How was it? You know, kind of digging out some of those old songs. What were, what were the rehearsals like? Um, you know, we we started rehearsing about two months ago. We got right off tour, got into uh, rehearsal space upstate, and uh, just started banging them out. You know, each day we focused on a, on an album and and just went through them. You know, until we uh, got comfortable. Um, you know, it was it's a lot of fun. A lot of memories kind of coming back. Uh, it was just a good time. You know, so. <laughs> good last night that I actually have to say that with Second Stage Turbine Blade some of the songs they sound even like more formed now and better because that was obviously the first record that you did were certain things in particular you said you know what we're going to change this around a little bit because you've done the song so many times well you know I think it's just because we be, we've become better players over time I mean when we did Second Stage Turbine Blade I mean it was a band in a, in a guy's bedroom making a record and we kind of just threw material together I mean there, it wasn't like a you know there wasn't a whole lot of uh you know, thinking about it or, 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 or setting it up. It was just go in there and play. And, and of course, over years, we've just gotten better. And I think that's why the songs are sounding so good in comparison. Yeah. Take so leave yourself in tears. Of the, of the original stuff. I'm here with Leslie Fran. Yeah, a lot of bands say that it's like even that first year when they're out touring, they get better just from doing it on a regular basis. Yeah. Did you find that to be true, Claudia? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, you know, just, you know, just kind of going through the motions and, and uh, you know, a lot of muscle memory, really, you know. Uh, you know what you can and cannot do in a live situation because it's very different from being in the studio. I mean, you know, uh, adrenaline becomes a factor. Um, so you know what your limitations are is to not like destroy yourself and um, you know also about yeah. pacing right yeah that, exactly that's the name of the game yeah, yeah absolutely well the second stage turbine blade last night tonight you do an in keeping secrets of silent earth too which is such a great record as well and then um tomorrow night good apollo the first one yeah so i mean i'm gonna i'm there every night you know i mean i'm not gonna obviously miss one night of them but uh one of my favorite songs, as you know, Claudio, is, is Wake Up from the first Good Apollo album, which is just a, just a great song that lends itself so well that there is a, an acoustic version out there. Uh, tell me a bit about this song when you wrote it. Um, I wrote it, I was in L.A., I was leaving um, 
uh, you know, flying home to New York, and I was leaving my uh, my girlfriend at the time at, at the hotel, and you know, uh, I just didn't want to say goodbye. You know, I just wanted to kind of hang out for a while and not and not be away. And and then I think about a week later, I found out she uh, didn't want to have anything to do with me. Maybe then she was like, "Oh no, just go, just go," you know. And so uh, I was like, "Oh, but I want to stay." And and so you know, I, I wrote "Wake Up," and pretty much the whole premise of "Good Apollo" is is based around this, around her, you know, and why the concept like divides, and we see it from the writer's perspective. And, that was the thing you know, about that record that you know, what people that had followed the story, this was you stepping out of character, and it was all completely affected by that relationship and what yeah. you were going through. Because I was there, you yeah, know, yeah. I know. And uh, and it made for an amazing record. I mean, it, it really did. And this is a really beautiful love song. It also has one of the greatest lines in it about waking up next to somebody ever. It says, "Well, I will annoy you with every waking breath till you decide to wake up." Because you know how you're laying in bed That's with right somebody on. that you care about, and it just in the press of every kiss, with your head upon my chest. Cambria live in the studio, Claudio Sanchez, and Wake Up. Great song right there. Love that track. Wow. wow. <laughs> Isn't that you a great song? Too, though. In a spot. It definitely does. You want to hear a funny story? That song actually blew my blew me away. I you know, I'd go through us, you know, my relationship split. And and at the time, even their guitar player Travis, he was it was split with his woman. We were all over in Europe on tour together. So <laughs> I think I should set this up and explain to everybody that Cody and Cambria were on Equal Vision Records Independent and it already had a huge uh, following. But then I signed the band at the Columbia Records when I did A&R there. And I was a VP of A&R because I love the band. And we were on tour. This is a crazy story. We were actually on tour in Europe because I was supposed to go on this vacation with my ex. And then it ended up falling apart and, and she didn't want to go. So I was like, well, I got this time. And we were talking. I was looking on the phone to Claudio and their manager plays. I said, man, I don't know. And they go, why don't you get, get in the uh, tour bus with us, the double-decker tour bus. We got one more bunk. It's 12 bunks in a double-decker tour bus going through Europe. And I and I flew over. I met them in England, and we went to England. They, they played two, the two big festivals, Reading and Leeds, and then Amsterdam, Paris, Belgium, uh, Germany, and Italy. And uh, it was a great experience for me because I'm going through a rough time at the time, but you guys took me... Uh, let me go on the road with you, and we had such a blast. And you were playing. We, I heard the demo of that song, Wake Up, one night after quite a few beers, you, me, and Travis, and all that guy. And, uh, and all of a sudden, everybody was all, like, you know, all emotional here. That song. <laughs>